evening at NTV. Of course, now time to take note. I really enjoy the conversation that has been happening. Sexuality education, and I think it's quite sensitive. Last week, I actually did host and moderate a session uh, that was done by UNFP, and we're talking to uh, stakeholders in this conversation. And we're talking about what or why it's probably a tough conversation to have, why we're we having the conversation now, and probably one of the leading obstetricians and gynecologists is a former head of the Uganda Gynecology Association, uh, Dr. Chigun, who said that, you know, it's th there's a reality, then there's an ideal. There's the ideal society that we have, which should be abstained from sex, children should be taught about sexu their sexuality at this age, and then eventually get into the other things later on. And he said, but the reality is at the hospital, I'm receiving 16-year-olds, 14-year-olds who are pregnant, or 13-year-olds who are looking for contraception. And he's saying, by the time you want to ask many questions, you realize at 13 they're sexually active or something has happened. And he says, it's some of us, it's too late as you know, medical workers to give this information. So he thought it was brave of the government to try and come up with this framework. But they're saying that as much as you're coming up with it, balance between ideal and reality. Uh, by the way, just to introduce you, I do have a guest in studio. We'll be talking about something completely different. Uh, but let's go for a short break. We'll be right back. It's morning at NTV. Guys. The wind unleashed the trail. Pain. Ambition. But most of all, it brought a wonderful love. Televisa presents The Lady from Vendaval. Ya vámonos para la casa, mi vida. No, tía. Él va a venir. Tiene que venir. Pues yo lo vi irse con otra mujer. Cállate. Bitter abandon brought about a sweet encounter. Esa mujer me robó el corazón. Sí, pero también te robó el collar. Muchísimos. Ese collar está aquí en la caja de seguridad de mi hotel. Doubt and an inheritance will join them through love. ¿Quieres decir que para cobrar la herencia de mi madre tengo que casarme? Sí, así es, pero no sabemos de cuánto estamos hablando. La deuda es cada vez más grande. Nos van a embargar. Lo importante ahora es encontrar con quién casarme y salvar el vendaval. Buena presencia y solvencia moral para realizar trabajo temporal bien remunerado. Tienes que recuperar el collar antes de que regresen tus papás. Se llama Marcela Morales. Fue la única huésped que abandonó su hotel al día siguiente del robo. Está buscando un hombre para casarse. Solo falta uno. Hazlo pasar. Vengo por el anuncio del periódico. Si alguien se va a casar con Marcela, ese soy yo. Y no sé qué pasó entre Marcela y tú. Pero ella se va a casar conmigo. ¿Te guste o no te guste? However... Ambition, envy, and cruelty will work their way to drift them apart. Espero yo no tengas más exigencias para firmar el divorcio. Sácale hasta el último centavo. Por supuesto, mamá. Yo me voy a quedar con el vendaval. Y usted me va a ayudar. Por supuesto, licenciadesa, por supuesto. The lady from Vendaval. On the next episode is brought to you by Kiri Soda. Let's celebrate life! School of Easy. City Musonessa. Olinze Walukaga. Molinda Muche Pukuru. So good. I am William Motoko. You are good. Soda in four different flavors lemon, mixed berry, orange, and Kiri Cola. Celebrate life with Kiri Soda. Let's celebrate life. 
It's morning at NTV. Our hashtag is just that for you to keep up with the conversation, whether you're watching us on Facebook Live or, of course, on our live feed. It is morning at NTV, and I was just sharing this morning that the biggest conversation we're having was about sexuality education, the framework, you know, how it will be implemented. Of course, that is still a discussion by the ministry and the stakeholders, and uh, they're saying that, you know, once that is settled, they'll be able to inform the public on that. And, of course, our man on the ground, Andrew Chamaguru, was asking about, you know, whether you have found a way to talk to the young ones around you about their sexuality and, you know, reproductive health, because this, this is a whole, um, you know, discussion. It's not just on sexuality, it's also on reproductive health. You're with me, Flavia, and I'm joined by Connie here from, well, she's one of us. <laughs> Nation Media. Uh, good morning, Connie. Good morning, Flavia. Yes. Are, are you a parent? Yes, I am. You are. Mm, sexuality education. So do you worry? I do. When you're going to have those conversations? I do. <laughs> I really worry. Is it, did it's you, not an easy one. It's not an easy one. Mm -hmm. do you, when you're growing up, do you, did you find that maybe your parents are the ones who did that? Neighbors, actually, TV, school? Actually, if I'm to remember well, we had a season, uh, holiday season. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to the Sengas. And uh, okay. yeah, the different aunties had to come in and intervene because it was an easy mother to daughter. I wonder why it should be easy mother to daughter. It's not, it's it's not an easy conversation. <laughs> It's your child. It's not an easy conversation. Yeah, so yeah. you'd rather send so the child somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, but I know that uh, the, the government, uh, even they were saying that, you know, sexuality education is not just sent to the saying. And mm -hmm. it depends what the saying is also going to say. Exactly. And I was telling them that reproductive health is a lot of things. You know, you tell a girl at it's this age, this happens to you, mm. and this is how to handle yourself. Mm. But someone also tells the boys. And the man was saying that, uh -huh. and the boy... <laughs> stops talking to people at home you know exactly so that's also part of the conversation mm. anyways connie is here to talk to us about seeds of gold but the farm clinic and i was trying to understand for people who live under rocks yeah that they don't know what seeds of gold is mm. what is seeds of gold okay uh seeds of gold is basically to do with uh, agriculture mm. it was uh, basically formed under daily monitor that uh, brought together ntv uh, brought NTV and Daily Monitor mm. together on board. Uh, we usually run, NTV does Seeds of Gold on Saturdays, mm. and we have uh, in the Daily Monitor on Saturday, we have a section that talks about agriculture. Mm. So we came together to take agriculture to another level. We've been uh, giving out practical knowledge okay. on the Seeds of Gold over the years, mm. uh, including fish farming, pig production, mm. Uh, dairy. Uh, last year, 2017, we decided to widen out to the different districts because okay. uh, farmers gave in feedback that they were not, they were left out. You were just dealing with regions. Kampala? We were just dealing with Kampala. <laughs> okay. So we had to widen the aspects okay. in 2017 that is. Okay. Uh, this year, our theme is climate smart farming mm. you saw the rain at the beginning <laughs> of the year we had about four or five months of just rain, rain. heavy rain heavy rains part, yeah. yes so we decided to do five clinics this year oh okay yes we started with mbarara mm -hmm. on the 26th of may and so wow. just for put on the seeds of gold is, is is what we have here on ntv we show or we go and you know highlight farmers Far solutions different farmers, yes in different regions. um you know tips and tricks that they can share and then also exactly. there's a pull out or a section in the delhi motor so it's a joint partnership the Saturday morning, but so then yeah. the farm clinics is is sort of out of these seeds of gold it is the same mm. but this one we go on the ground with okay. this we go on the ground to bring the farmers, farmers together, together okay. the farmers together because they are trainings mm. uh, we partnered with the, the government of Uganda through okay. narrow mm. so we go out to the different zonal research oh, okay. centers and bring the farmers together to, to come and learn mm. Mm. I was saying this morning that it can't just be them learning sometimes you know farmers also have something to, to share yeah. So is there a platform where they can also say by the way you're teaching about this but may I have a solution in this way can I also give this kind of advice mm. or can i also share it's not just come and take notes and go yes that is shared through uh the seeds of gold uh um, the show and the, the show story. and then the the, the paper mm. in the uh, every saturday at least we have a story mm. we have a story to run yes. we actually had a testimony in barara uh with a gentleman who started out in 2017 and right now his passion fruits are doing wonders 
he actually attended the show in Barara and mm -hmm. sold quite a number. Oh, they, he they was actually left with sell nothing. as well? Yeah, they actually sell. We do have ex So, uh, yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> put a picture for us what happens at each farm clinic. Uh, what happens at the farm clinics, we uh, bring farmers together. Mm -hmm. The farmers converge in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, when the farmers converge... Is there like a, a criteria of how to get these farmers or it's a come one, come all? Come one, come all, because oh, okay. it's entirely free. Okay. When we go to the districts, it's entirely free. Mm. So when they come in the morning, there's a session. There's a sh session in the morning, usually from uh, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mm. So 9 a.m. we broke off to the different enterprises. Mm. So uh, for the Hoima region, we are looking at bananas. We are looking at cassava. We are looking at rice. Mm. We are looking at apiary. It's a new one. Hmm. Apiary includes uh, honey. Yes, bees. The bees, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so mm. they broke out to the different Our enterprises. Our producer has special interest in the bees. Really? Yes. I need to talk, <laughs> to, talk to him. He needs to just tell us his village and where his and apiary is, exactly. and then we can help him. Yes, so when they, after the sessions, mm. we then go to the practical. We have to go to the practical bit of it. This includes going to the cassava uh, oh. the cassava plantations and see because there are different varieties yes we may think cassava is cassava, cassava. no 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 <laughs> as it shows on my <laughs> plate different. i'll call them no tribes i prefer to call them <laughs> tribes yeah. so they are different mm. then we go to probably dairy depending on what everyone wants then in the afternoons we usually do this year we are doing irrigation mm. and sustainable land management together with uh, markets and marketing okay yes okay so you said you go out to each of these it can't be to everyone so do you have specific ones you say we, we are highlighting maybe cassava and you say we'll be going to this particular one this time or everyone is sent to different places everyone goes to their different enterprises okay. for example flavia you may be having probably doing a dairy mm. so you we, we have a session for dairy they take you through on the different aspects on mm. how to go about uh, what if, what if I, I like just money and I want to see if the other guys who are doing the other thing might also benefit me. And I'm, I do diary, but then mm. I also want to see, you know, the It's fine because we, we have different sessions. Okay. So we can do diary for two hours and then we break out and go to... Yes, so that I also yeah. have a chance to go and see if I can try my hand at that True. as well. We have the different sessions. Yes, so talk mm. to me about, uh, is it a partnership or initiative by Bank of Uganda? It's a partnership. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we are proudly, and I'm, uh, I'll say this on air, <laughs> yes. we want to thank Sinok Uganda so, so much for the support they've put on board. Uh, they came on board mm -hmm. to support the local farmer. Okay. Yeah, they will, they, will, they will basically have a session to talk about the markets and marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, so y and then that's, so Bank of Uganda, Sinok, I'm getting slightly confused there. So Bank yeah, of it's Uganda. Bank of Uganda, mm. Sinok. Mm. Yeah, Bank of Uganda has an agriculture credit facility. Yeah. Yeah, so they will be there to talk, ab to talk more about that. And then we have Sinok. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Naro, yes, where we are going to have the, uh, the farm clinic. It's mm. actually happening next Saturday and 7th. It's Hoima. We are going down to Hoima. Next Saturday, okay. Next Saturday. You spoke about Mbara. Mbara is done? Mbara is done, 26th. Okay. It was... Yeah. It was a blast. It mm. was a good turnout. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we are coming down to Hoima at mm. Bolindi. It is called uh, Bolindi Zono Agriculture. It makes sense why Sinok is in this one. <laughs> <laughs> now when you say Hoima, I'm like, uh, of course. Uh, now I see why Sinok <laughs> has interest there. <laughs> no, but they're doing good. They're supporting <laughs> yes, the local yes, farmer. Yes. That is so, so good. Because mm. we are looking at a, uh, really taking agriculture to another level. Mm. So... Yeah, we will be down there at the grounds mm -hmm. at Bolindizadi. It is called Bolindizadi. Bolindizadi. Yeah, it's just, I think, uh, five kilometers uh, from Hoima town. Mm -hmm. Yes. You said the, you said the cost is free. So all they have to do is show up? Please. Show <laughs> up at 7 a.m. Mm. We are bringing this in partnership. Let, let, me, let me ask you, these things of agriculture, the, mm. we've been preaching about value addition. So for me, if, if I've done some value addition and I have finished products, can I bring them an please, exhibit? Please and come to Hoima. <laughs> <laughs> the reason as to why we are mm. doing markets and marketing, mm. and the reason as to why Sinok has come down to support the local farmer is because mm. they are looking for that farmer who has ready and quality products. Yes, too. who has added yes. some value or who is looking exactly. to 
add value to their products and yes. sell them. So you said that the theme is climate smart, smart farming. farming. Mm. So this is going to be in, in, in form of like a topic, you're going to cover it and give them some advice and tips or are there practical solutions as well? No, that's the theme mm. in general. Mm. But uh, we are looking at uh, seed varieties. Mm. We are looking at uh, sustainable land management, okay. markets and marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the topics. Those are the, the topics. The other one is just the theme. <laughs> just mm. the theme. Mm. Okay, so this is in what year? This is what edition of the Farm Clinic? It's you the 10th Seeds of Gold Farm Whoa. Clinic. Whoa. So yes. this has been happening in every different re region or you've started mainly in Kampala and then you're spreading out? Yeah, we started mainly in Kampala but now we are spreading out due to demand because mm. farmers get to call in and say, now for us in Lira, you for forgot us about in us. <laughs> yes, so um, after, th after Hoima, which mm. is uh, next Saturday, we will be doing Cabanero, that is Gayaza, on 1st September. Okay. And then we will go to Lira in October. And then finally, we are coming down to the east in Okay, so it's November. many within the year. It's so many. if you we miss one, you can always go to the next, and you Please. can always go to the next. Yes, but you see, mm. Flavia, these are different enterprises. Okay, okay. Yeah, what I need uh, the viewers to understand mm. is that now like Hoima, we have apiary. There are people particularly interested in the bees. Mm. Now the apiary didn't happen in Barara and it's not happening anywhere else. Mm -hmm. you get We're not beekeepers so in my village. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. You said it was not there in Barara, so I'm wondering. But no, anyway, you don't. Yes, yeah. you're, you're too much in bananas. You and talk badly. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so, so depending on the specialty of each of the regions is exactly. what you're saying. Yes. Um, I forgot to ask you before we wind up. There's startups and then there's those with, you know, mass production. Yes. Do you, does it matter where I am in it my doesn't agriculture? Matter. It doesn't matter. You always, ne learning never ends. Okay. And uh, the beauty of this all is uh, I would encourage uh, my darling sweet farmers to come with money because we have exhibitors as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, they sell products. So you may find yourself in a circle where you it need to even buy have to be something. doesn't a farmer, by the way. You can just... Yes. So the exhibitors are there. I would like mm -hmm. to specifically thank NSSF, mm -hmm. uh, Agro Consortium, and B in Zika. They've been with us on this. From the beginning. Yes, from the great, beginning. Great, great, great. So mm -hmm. um, it's free of charge. It's um, free of charge. So in case someone wants to exhibit, I'm guessing that's a different one, though. Yeah, that one they'll have to pay. <laughs> <in the court. laughs> <laughs> that one is separate <laughs> from just showing up for free. Yes. Uh, the so exhibition, they'll have to give me a call. Mm -hmm. My number is 0704-225084. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, space, for example, in Hoima is not done. So there's, there's still no, some. No, the space is still there. The space is still there. Yes. And if you want to book ahead of time, for example, for Lira and all the other... It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly, it's perfectly fine. You can fine. say I can. Yes, please. And if you have your fuel and your transport and you want to go to Hoima to buy some of these products... Please come. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we start 7 a.m. up to 5 p.m. Yes, just to wrap it up, Connie, just remind people where you will be, uh, the dates, and who's welcome as we wind up. Uh, we will be down in Hoima. Mm -hmm. the, the narrow center down there is called Bulindi Zadi. Mm -hmm. That is Bulindi Zono Agriculture Research okay. and Development Institute. We we'll start at 7 a.m. sharp prompt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Ugandans not being timekeepers so for you mm. you will keep time it's a lot of learning so okay. need <laughs> <laughs> slowly by slowly, slowly, by slowly mm. we'll get there yes uh, please kindly give me a call on 0704 22 mm -hmm. 5084 for any inquiries let's be there because companies have come together to bring this to us mm. free of charge yes. learning come learn Come buy products. Come know how to develop. By the way, I wasn't interested in agriculture, but you can imagine I've started. It's because of this. I've started, yes. <laughs> by association, <laughs> you're starting. You're I'm starting there. And for my producer who is interested in bee, you know, he has, I don't know if he has like two bees that have mm. been swarming his house. <laughs> and he thinks all of a sudden he's, a, he's, he's special. But he mm. says he has one beehive. Mm. So I'm not an expert in bees. I'm an expert in drinking and enjoying the honey. Okay. So <laughs> I like when value is added to these things mm. and I enjoy them later. Mm. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm really a big one on farming. Mm. So You'll I, get there. I, I'm a consumer. <laughs> <laughs> I am in... You're in, supporting. I, uh -huh, mm. That is it. I, I am at the level of consumption. And I think we're very many consumers. You're many, but yeah. people are doing this actually. Uh, actually, now. yes. Mm. Because, you know, we say that Uganda, people actually um, produce... 
half to consume and the other half. And of course, we're yeah. trying to get people into mass exactly. production and say, you know, as much as you want to eat these tomatoes, mm. can you try and mm. <laughs> sell them off as well? Mm. Or can you try and whatever you're farming, do it more? Mm. Uh, but, and, and I like that you're opening up the gaps and saying, don't don't just think of the same old things, but okay, you know, even uh -huh. there's, there's beekeeping, there's, there's this and fish that, farming. there's fish farming. Yeah. So think outside the box. But if you have been interested, you have some money and you've been thinking of where to invest your money, Remember that agriculture is supposed to actually be our backbone, but we're saying that also invest more in, in you know, value-added services. Now, if you're thinking, I also don't know what that is, that's the point of Seeds of Gold and also the farm clinics, to learn from each other as farmers. Mm. And for you who's very green like me, to also learn afresh. True. And if you, you don't want a particular side of farming, come and learn the opportunities that are there. Mm. So they'll be in Hoiman, of course, throughout the year, different ones. So the easy way for you to know where to be and all the details, I think Daily Monitor would be the first. Yeah. And here at NTV when we air Seeds of Gold. So keep it that. That is a Seeds of Gold farm clinic that is happening. You said this weekend? This Saturday. This Saturday. No, sorry. Next Saturday. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's it's seven, very early in the morning. So keep going. 7th July. <laughs> Seven, okay, so just cram 7th July. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're wrapping up Morning at NTV. The hashtag is Morning at NTV. If you want to keep the conversation going and any of the uh, discussions we've been having in the morning, we talked about sexuality education, the framework that is being put together by... Um, the ministry and of course other stakeholders have to of course stamp in this and whether it's religious leaders or you know uh, pri the private sector so if you have any comments on that as well the hashtag is morning at NTV. Have yourselves a lovely day.